board members, I just wanted to hand out a, uh, a summary that uh, just ties together all of the numbers on the budget in a very general sense. Mm -hmm. You'll see the municipal budget is up $103,527. So that's a total increase, 0.8%. Mm -hmm. So that's just, um, that's as a result of what was voted and uh, it was just a quick back of the envelope calculation in terms of what the percentage is. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's, if, if, if I could, so, so Mr. Barry Connors, the, the town is up 0.8 percent. Do we, do we know what the school went up? Um, my recollection was the priority one and their original budget would have been about 6.8. And we went up 0.8. Correct. Okay, thank you. I just wanted to be clear on that because there was some discussion at the meeting. The municipal budget was going up 3 percent. Right. Um, and it's 0.8%. No, it was 3% with the 184 cut before we started making the right. change. Okay. We're not feeling no pain. Nothing. So, yeah. You know, we went up 0.8. They went up 6. Uh, and then the other shared expenses went up 12 or 14. Yeah. Bottom line is, it's not we, them, us. It's just, it's us. You know, this is good for informational purposes. And again, part of what we have is a difference of opinion here as far as prioritization of how we're going to spend the resources that are available. Personally, I don't think we went far enough to restore uh, the cuts that were enjoyed by the school department. You know, uh, I anticipated, based upon the way I voted, our portion would have been negative, you know, because, because it happens to be where my priority is. And, and it, uh, I just wouldn't be surprised if the uh, majority of the people at town meetings' priorities don't happen to align with ours. You're entitled to do that? I know. I know they're entitled yeah, to do it, but absolutely. I think you need to anticipate it, too. I, I, you know, the, I, have to say, I have to comment. I mean, the, my, my problem is, is that I don't, I, don't see, I don't see a school budget, and I don't see a town budget. I mean, I see North Reading's budget. I mean, you have to make decisions about the whole. You can't make decisions about, you know, this side and that side. It's, it's the whole, and, and, and what I'm troubled by, as I continually hear, is, is the idea that I, what I say from the beginning is, is that when you make cuts in the town side, okay, they, they affect the same people. You, 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 you know, when I talked to the school committee the other day, a member of the school committee the other day, and they said that a couple of years ago that the first, when we cut the police budget, the first thing that got cut was the DARE program. Now that affects the kids. That affects the kids. So my point is, is that when you go and say the town side, it's like it's independent of the school side. It's not. It's all one and the same. And you've got to look at the budget as a whole and make the best decisions for the town of North Reading, for everybody. And I recognize, I understand how people feel about the strongly feel about the schools, but understand, when you're looking at the town side, don't think of it as separate from the school side. It's not. When you cut the wreck, you, you hurt the kids. When you cut the, the when you cut the, um, library, you hurt the kids. When you cut the police, you hurt the kids. And that's the way you got to look at it, is what, what is best to do for the entire town. So I don't buy this half, you know, two different budgets. It's not two different budgets. It's one budget. You know, it's, 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 All right. But as it, far as, you know, cutting wreck or whatever, you're hurting the kids. We have cut back on the health department and the health, health services and teaching in the, in the school system. Yeah. It's a report last week. One in what, one in four, one in five, 13 to 18 year old females have sexually transmitted diseases and we're not teaching health to the degree that we should be. It's a serious problem. Is that hurting the kids? You know, and we're not even talking about restoring to that level. All right, gentlemen, so, I look, mean, if we're talking about the whole pie and the whole problem. community and where gentlemen, our priority we're not gonna so my priority is not running the recreational program. And again, we haven't cut a thing other than we've shifted the burden as to how it's gonna come from. We haven't cut those programs. We haven't I'm, cut those positions. I'm in See, there are other positions that have already cut and having an adverse effect on our society, on our kids here in North Reading, and the education that they're, that they're getting, and they're not getting. And absolutely. So, yeah, absolutely, it's easy to I say, but where are the cuts? Where are the suggestions? One where are we actually getting dollars. back to where we need to be? $1.3 million we've adjusted. And it doesn't get you where you need to be, and the kids still on school five days a week, and you still have class sizes of 30. And you, you know, we're not where we need to be. I agree. You agree? Why what are we doing about it? What are we doing about it? All right. 
We haven't gone far enough. We have. That's uh, your that's your opinion. I right. think we've done what's that's best. Right. Both of you. That's what the numbers are telling. Through the chair, please. Okay. All right. Yeah. We we have taken votes. We've established a set of numbers. Obviously, we have disagreements. Minor. At this point, I think uh, in the interest of uh, one getting the warrant sign, we have our uh, constable here. We need to do that. Uh, I had uh, kind of skipped through uh, public comment. I, I think there are some people here that <coughs> like to say something to us, so <coughs> we should allow that. And then we're going to go into the town administrator's report. So we want to sign the warrant first. Yes, the special it. and the uh, warrant that excludes the wastewater planning article, which was number 28 on the warrant. I have, a, I have a question. The, the article in relation to the Wheeler property, was that in or out? It's not here. It's not here. Okay. We received no information on that. Okay. So, Mr. Bellatones, we're, we're signing articles 1 through 27. We pulled it off the warrant? Right. Correct. So yes. We're going to get back to it. It's too prepared, but... We received no information. None. No detail what the warrant. warrant. It's right. not on there. And I'm glad. There's two copies of the warrant, uh, and one of them had the uh, wastewater article, and that one is, is not being correct. Process. So you're only signing the one with 27 articles and yeah. special. With so, Mr. Harris. Mr. Chairman, I move to sign the April 7, 2008 special town meeting yeah. warrant. <laughs> Motion by Mr. Harris, second by Mr. O'Leary. Any discussion? Hearing that all in favor. Aye. 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 Opposed. Unanimous. Signing of it. Uh, constable will uh, collect it for posting. <laughs> I'm sorry, who seconded that? I did. See her there. The warrant itself. Mr. Chairman, I move to sign the April 7th, 2008 annual town meeting warrant. Second. Motion made by Mr. Harris, seconded by Mr. O'Leary. Discussion? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Unanimous. That one item, Mike. Did you sign that? Uh, litigation. Litigation strike. Okay. Public comment. Uh, I think Deanna had her hands up before we took our break. <laughs> Hi, Pam Ellis, um, 22 Magnolia Street. How are you? Mine's very brief. Um, I think you might have misunderstood um, Mr. Vino when you were having that brief discussion about the health insurance. And I know you said that you would be for it as long as you restore the two cuts that were made here tonight. But the only cuts that were made here tonight were the override cuts. So if that's what you're saying, does that mean that you would support putting that money into the non-override school budget? as long as those cuts that were made here tonight were put back into the override budget. I think Mr. Vino was referring to the fact that we have removed from our operating budget, exclusive of an override budget, some position. That's what I was referring to. And he was referring to that, meaning that if in fact additional monies come in, he would restore those positions in the regular non-override budget before putting any additional money into the school budget. Okay. In so either case, it would, on the override side, reduce those amounts from the override, obviously. 
Okay, when you said the cuts here tonight, I thought no, you meant okay. these no, ones on the overhead. Right. Okay, and then just a comment really briefly about the whole budget. We do feel of, that it is an entire town budget, but it didn't feel that way last year, and that's where we really want to restore the balance is from all the cuts that we made last year. The, the one thing I would the say, budget. the one thing I, I, I would say is, is that what, hap what I think you don't, you know, what happened last year was, okay, two years ago, two years ago, right, we avoided an override by working together with the school committee, all right, to allocate $600,000 from the town budget, and I was very involved in that, $600,000 to, to the school budget to get to, avo to balance their budget and avoid an override. When last year came around, we, we tried to do something similar, okay, and the school committee didn't want us to. Now, that's a fact, okay, and you can ask for the board members, but that's a fact. And even at the end, we tried to give $100,000 to from the town side to the school side, and they didn't want it. They wanted to go for a three-year override, okay? And I gotta say, over my objection, because I didn't, not because it isn't needed, it's because, it's like we said if you were here when we talked to the wastewater, right? It's not a question of what you need, it's a question of what will pass. That's the question, all right? And I didn't believe the three-year would pass, and I think it hurt the one year, okay? So, you know, to, to, to suggest that we let last year happen, I personally object to because, like I say, I was instrumental in getting $600,000 with everybody else here two years ago. And last year, I would have worked hard to get them additional money. I don't know, we could make the gap up last year. But they didn't want it, and that's a fact. Now, this year, we've done it, okay? The fact that we haven't gone for $1.8 million, like I know some of you want, we have gone for 103, 1.3. It's a lot of money that we raised. I know Steve and I don't agree, we raised a lot of money. I think we're doing the best we can here. 1.3 is a lot of money. As part of the town side, we're for the, I'm, I'm, you know, just as the people making comments, when you direct that comment, I am for a fully balanced town budget. So that's it. Yes, I know. Thank you. Anyone else? So we can move on this evening? Yes, sir. I will be supporting and I will be voting for the override. I will be advocating for the override. I think that it's a necessary step. But what we've got to look at here, that Mr. Bowers and I just spoke at the little break here, is you know we've got to be looking at a a, a town-wide budget that funds <coughs> government, not general government, not school budget government, no government. And uh, and what we're proposing here doesn't even come close to doing that. It doesn't do that. It doesn't do it adequately. So I for one will be supporting. It will be advocating for it, and I know that people are feeling the pinch. I mean, I just I just bought two hundred dollars worth of with, worth of oil to put in my tank today. What I spent today is what I spent four years ago to heat my house for the entire season. 